just made it. I just made it to where Sydney is. Sydney, what's going on with the hat? Uh, <laughs> it's just my protection <laughs> from my hair right now. Wow, do you think I need probiotics or something? But you always talk about your stomach. True. Okay. And I fi figure it's a healthy snack. You're right. These are pri wow. these are pricey goodies. You bought me so much of my favorites. Up. It's like I don't even need to go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Thank you, Mom. You're the best. Well, hey, guys. <laughs> I've been great. I've been at camp. Can you tell? <laughs> um, Let's see. I first half was the... I was a counselor. And then second half... They don't know what first half, second oh, half sorry. is. First half, me and you work like week one, or you go to orientation, which you just learn about camp and like how to do certain things. And then you work from orientation all the way to week five, which is like, it's like four weeks or five weeks in total. And so as a counselor, you have your own cabin, you have a co-counselor, which is a girl, and then you have a co-Bible study counselor, which is a boy and so you like do your bible study together and there's like material and you go over that orientation and you can go over out go over it throughout the week yeah so that was super fun i mean it's like it's so fun and it's so like like you just learn a lot of things but it's like super exhausting a lot but that's when you get to rely on the lord which is super cool and then second half which means after <laughs> which is after the week five I'm the MCC, which means I do all of like the photography and stuff. So I take all the pictures and- Have you been meeting your quota? Uh-huh. You have to like meet a certain number of photos, like good pictures every day that you upload. So you can like press a button as many times as you want and you can take like 800 pictures within two hours, but then you go through all of them and like half of them are bad. And so I have to have 150 photos a day that are like edited and everything and it's been fun and it's been cool to like see so what program do you use to edit lightroom oh lightroom yeah. oh, okay but the more photos you take the more you have to go through that's more work that's mm -hmm. time consuming yeah so it's a lot of like computer work so i need to get like blue. i have blue light glasses but i don't have them with me <laughs> And so I've gotten like pretty bad headaches because all you do is stare, stare at the screen. You stare, stare at the computer or you stare at the camera thing when you're taking pictures. And so I've done that uh, two weeks. This is my third week. We're at a church in Dallas. And so look, you can see that is our combo right there. And so right there, that's like has the Euro bungee, which is the thing where you get strapped in and you jump on the trampolines. And then the box truck is right there. You see it, Mom? Mm -hmm. And that has, like, all of our camp stuff in it. So, like, my bag is in there right now, like, my sleeping stuff. So, they just get thrown in there. But for teardown, which means we tear down all of camp, I'm a box girl. So, I help load the box. And So, that's a workout in itself. <laughs> so, what has been so far, what has been the highlight, something that stands out the most? And then where do you sleep? Yeah. So, second question. We sleep at host homes. People that are within the church that open up their houses for a ton of college kids to stay there. So, it's like all the counselors. And so, we sleep there and it's super fun. I think I, like, I love host homes. And last week we had, I mean, it was, like, just the best host home. They had four kids and they were so cute. And... What were they? Eight? How old were they? Uh, like... I think it's like 9, 13, oh. and like 
four. Okay, so cute. Like I just, I just want to take him home. All of them. Um, yeah. <laughs> they were all so cute, though. Yeah, I would take all of them home. Actually, they're so respectful and so well behaved. Then they lived in the cutest house ever. It was like a modern like farmhouse, I guess. They had a big barn in their backyard, and they had sheep and chickens. Really? And like a tenant outside. So, yes. did you guys get a chance to eat fresh eggs? Yeah. Uh huh. We did, and it was really good. Did Did you really taste a difference? I could see a difference as far as like they were like really yellow, like they weren't like a mix okay. of white and yellow. It was like yellow. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so by the time we get them, they're fading out. Yeah. It's like a muted yellow, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah, but it was really fun. And, and the highlight? I said the host home. Oh. And you just like make so many friends on the team with so many new people that you didn't know before. So one of like the girls that I'm like super close with, I'm close with a lot of the girls, but one of them, she ended up, she was first off. And so she goes to a different school than me, but we call every Saturday and like keep up. And so that's been fun. And she texts me like a few minutes ago because she knows I have my phone. They take our phones at two o'clock on Sundays and then we don't have them until 12 o'clock on Saturday. So I just got my phone like a few minutes ago. And... So what did they put your phone in a bag with your name on it? No, they just put it in a phone box and they're like locked up. So how do they know whose phone is whose? You know. I know that this is my phone because it has a pink case and mm -hmm. I'm like pretty familiar with this, so. Mm -hmm. How does it feel not to have your phone? It's so awesome. Cause it's like, if we had our phones, we'd be so distracted. Mm -hmm. And so you wouldn't be locked in, mm -mm. right? Nope. So yeah, there's always someone like in our host home that has a phone for like safety reasons, and the drivers that drive the cars always have to text the people what, what time they're gonna be there and pick them up in the morning. And so like, in like I was on my phone on Friday because I had to like figure something out. Like they're not like no. Like our boss understands, and like when things come up, you can have your phone. Yeah. So how was the food at that? the last house or church no when you said you that was the highlight the oh house. yeah it was good we had tacos one night we had burgers one night we, and then we had uh i don't remember but yeah it was good food and they like bought everything that we needed or wanted and so that was, that nice. was nice yeah how about the home that uh no sugar it was good we had stir fry one night it was like a ton of vegetables and chicken and rice and quinoa and then Ooh, last nice. night it was spaghetti squash and spaghetti sauce but i ate the leftover stir fry and i had a little bit of squash how was sauce. it it was good it's plain mm -hmm. and then what did we have the first night oh we had taco soup which was awesome it was so good and it just like made me feel clean about the stuff that i was eating so it's like okay i know there's like not bad stuff in here everything's fresh so so you're having the time of your life yes it's fun and then when do you go back to school august 5th which is the day i'm done with camp <laughs> so what does that mean that i drive up to stillwater on august 5th <laughs> so what does that mean for me that you drive to stillwater on august 5th <laughs> stillwater you have somebody you get into stillwater no y'all are bringing, bringing me car here to tyler because that's where I'll be. Remember, y'all are going to stay in Tyler on the 4th. That way you're there on the 5th. And then we're going to book it to Stillwater and move me in to the Kai Omega house. Well, I can't wait to see this. I know. Six, uh, what are you, who, who are you? I'm living in a six-girl bedroom. It's going to be so fun. It, uh, yeah. But see, Sydney doesn't like to be alone. Sydney is a people person. Because there's no way I could do that. Maybe if I was younger, but... You have to be a people person to be in a six girl suite. But I've seen, I've been sending, she, she doesn't look at the stuff that I sent her on Instagram. It's good stuff, Sydney. I'm not sending you junk. And then some of it was um, multi bedroom suites. Mm. Some of the transformations have been phenomenal. Well, there's only so much moving we can do, so much stuff we can put up. Like the house is brand new. Like it probably got finished in like March. So anyways, we're gonna go explore and do fun stuff. But see you later. Bye. Yeah.
about to be sick of it. Sick of me, okay? With these nails, honey. And now, so, you know, this her little birthday treat. Now we headed into Torchy's Tacos. That's what she wanted. 